a meaningful moment for China's ambassador to the United States, Qing Gang, as he visits the house where China President Xi Jinping stayed back in 1985. This is the room. Yeah, this is where he stayed. Then, President Xi was a county-level official who was in Iowa as part of a delegation to learn American agricultural techniques. This house has become a symbol for China-US relations. And despite recent tensions, there is a hope that the China ambassador's visit here can once again reignite close ties between the two countries. At a news conference, the ambassador reiterated his hope for an improvement in relations. So now the torch is in our hands, right? And we have a responsibility to pass it on, particularly at a, a time uh, of uh, uh, more complexities and the challenges in our relations. I firmly believe that the friendship is the most effective vaccine to the political virus. Ambassador Chin also met with those that had organized the 1985 trip to Iowa. That included Sarah Landy, who also hosted a meeting with President Xi during his return visit to Iowa in 2012. She believes the ambassador's trip to Iowa is timely, given recent U.S.-China tensions. His visit can improve. One thing, it's brought us together and looked at the deep roots of friendship that just happened when people on both sides got to know each other. We think we're like a family of friends. So I think the foundation plus getting together with the ambassador, everybody sort of saying, let's go forth now. Some of that positivity was underlined with the signing of a new sponsorship exchange program that will see students from Muscatine travel to China. Another opportunity to strengthen ties and bring the two countries closer together. Dan Williams, CGTN, Muscatine, Iowa. This is actually our first day in Iowa, President Xi. We had just been at the governor's.